John Ellison's life literally began on the banks of the Kanawha River in a house his father built out of driftwood. In the years that followed, his voice, spirit, and determination, and one song in particular, would take him to stages all over the world. Born in Montgomery in 1941, Willie John Ellison was raised in the mining community of Blue Heaven, McDowell County, after his father moved the family to the southern coal fields to find work. When those mines played out, they moved on to Landgraf. Ellison's life-changing moment came when he saw Chuck Berry perform School Days on American Bandstand. Up in the morning and out to school. He formed a band called Little Willie and the Rock and Rollers. The group's first appearance was at the UMWA Hall in Keystone. While attending Keystone Ekman High School, Ellison was working the overnight shift at the Carter Hotel. In the 10th grade, he made the decision to leave school in order to keep his job and support his family. Then, one day, filled with dreams and ambition, he quit his job and bought a one-way ticket to Rochester, New York, to pursue a career in music. With his belongings in a grocery bag, he arrived in Rochester with less than $5 to his name. Eight years later, after playing in a succession of bands and styling hair, he joined the Soul Brothers Six as the group's lead singer, guitarist, and songwriter. The band had a hard-hitting sound that added a rock edge to an R&B feel and gospel harmonies. Its 1965 debut single was Stop Hurting Me on Fine Records, followed by Move Girl and Don't Neglect Your Baby. Don't neglect your baby. Don't. After being introduced to Atlantic Records' Jerry Wexler by a Philadelphia DJ, the band signed a deal with the label. In 1967, Atlantic released Some Kind of Wonderful, which Ellison wrote in 20 minutes while traveling to a recording session. The song peaked at number 91 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart. She's some kind of wonderful, yes she is. She's some kind of wonderful, I hold it, let me tell you one more thing. You tell me, hey, is there anybody? None of the follow-up releases, which included You Better Check Yourself, your love is such wonderful love, and thank you, baby, for loving me, fared as well. And by the end of the decade, the group parted ways with Atlantic. From 1970 to 1974, his group released a number of singles for Philadelphia's Phil L.A. of Soul label as Willie John Ellison and John Ellison and the Soul Brothers Six, including Funky Funky Way of Making Love, You're My World, and Let Me Do What We Ain't Doing. While none charted nationally, the band continued to tour nationally. The group finally disbanded due to management issues. In the meantime, Ellison relocated to Canada in 1972 and picked up work wherever he could including playing guitar for a band that was fronted by former heavyweight champion Joe Frazier. He also released a number of singles on the GRT label in Canada in the mid-1970s. In 1974, Grand Funk Railroad released a version of Some Kind of Wonderful that reached the number three spot in the nation. Soon, Ellison's song was everywhere. To date, Some Kind of Wonderful has been recorded by more than 62 different artists and has sold more than 42 million copies. Notable versions were recorded by British blue-eyed soul band Q-Tips, featuring a young lead singer named Paul Young. Buddy Guy, Huey Lewis in the News, and British soul singer Josh Stone. As a result, Ellison has received five Lifetime Achievement Awards for writing one of the most played songs in the world. Unlike many artists of that era, Ellison, an astute businessman, retained the rights and the publishing to all of his songs, a move which paid off for him in many ways. In 2001, he started Some Kind of Wonderful Foods, which he regularly markets on the Home Shopping Network. Of course, his pitch includes singing. 
As a solo artist, Ellison has released Welcome Back in 1993 and Missing You in 2000. In 2007, he issued Back, which earned him nominations for Male Vocalist of the Year and for R&B Soul Recording of the Year at the 2008 Hamilton Music Awards in Hamilton, Ontario. Ellison is a regular performer at the Nice Jazz Festival in France and also performs regularly throughout Europe, Asia, and North America. In 2008, he performed the Invocation, a gospel version of Some Kind of Wonderful, at the West Virginia Music Hall of Fame's induction ceremony. In 2012, Ellison published his autobiography, Some Kind of Wonderful, The John Ellison Story. The following year, he co-starred and composed the music for the A&E movie, the Rev. While Ellison splits his time between Toronto and Tampa, Florida, whenever he visits West Virginia, he gives something back to his home state. If he's in town doing a concert or benefit, he'll stop in and talk to the students about achieving their goals and how to reach their dreams, said April Hedinger, principal of Kimball Elementary. She goes on to say, Our school has one of the highest levels of poverty in the state, and many of the kids are in tough situations. John is motivating, inspirational, and he's kind. It means a lot to all of us. He's a hero to them because he's done so well. One of our students, a foster child, was very shy. But after John visited a few years ago, he started singing and performing. He went on to high school, and now he sings for the entire school. Who knows? Maybe one day he will be in the West Virginia Music Hall of Fame. My daddy worked in a coal mine. He died in 1965, he wasn't trying to get rich, he was just trying to survive, and life was a struggle, each and every day, trying to make enough money for the bills he had.